Here. 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 <laughs> Any conflict of interest statements? No. No. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of November 1st, 2019, December 5th, 2019, December 12th, 2019, and December 19th, 2019. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to um, motion to approve the minutes for November 21st and December 12th and defer the reading of the minutes of December 5th and December 19th. No second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item A, correspondence received from Councilman Barry Tyler, Jr., William Emerson, Sr., and Dave Warple, and Mayor Thomas McDermott, Jr., with Councilman Tyler and Emerson each requesting $120,000 of gaming money be allocated, Councilman Warple requesting $60,000 of gaming money be allocated, and Mayor requesting $300,000 be allocated for the Erie, Lackawanna, and Monon Bridge lighting projects. And this has all been signed by the, the councilman and the mayor. Do I have a motion to approve the request? A uh, motion to approve the, uh, <coughs> the request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item B, correspondence received from Chief of Police John Doty requesting officers Gary Sparks and Gabriel Gutierrez receive the traffic reconstruction specialty pay for being added to the traffic call-out team. Officers Gregory McGing and Zachary Green receive DT specialty pay for being selected as physical tactics instructors. The petition for retirement of Sergeant Eric Demos, effective January 6, 2020, and disposal authorization submitted for approval. We'll check okay. these out. We'll check these out. <clears throat> My mind, you look a little her suit <laughs> this morning. Jeez. That's a word. Got it. I picked up on that. I think she got it. You want to look at him, Mr. Long? No, I'm good. All right. I'm going to motion to approve the police chief's request and the disposal <coughs> authorizations. And I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item C, rental registration hearing on property located at 406 Waltham Street. Is the property owner present? Yes. Oh, good morning. Can you step up for us, please, ma'am? Can you state your name for us, please? Paula Lockwood. Okay. And are you at 1244 Center Ross Road in Crown Point? Yes. What do we have today? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is a uh, social unit property. Uh, it has been registered, or it had been registered every year prior to 2019. Uh, I think at that time, the previous owner uh, passed away. Ms. Lockwood uh, got the property uh, as of June 21st of 2019. Um, so we're looking for two units uh, for 2019. Okay. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes. Fire the property then. Did you have tenants in it the entire time? The tenants that were there were my dad's tenants, but no one's living there right now. Okay. And has it been registered for 2020? Or not yet. Not yet because of that. Okay. Any issues with the property? No. Okay. Gentlemen. Okay, I'm going to motion to waive the late fee, but the unit obviously needs to be registered for 2019. And obviously, going forward, once tenants come in, yes. 2020 and beyond. Mm -hmm. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, ma'am. If Thank you'd like you. to stay, you can take care of that after the meeting today. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Item D correspondence received requesting a rental registration hearing. All right, I motion to set this uh, request over to February 13th. And I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item E, agreement to rehabilitate property located at 2647, 162nd place, garage only. Uh, good morning to the board, good morning, Madam Smith. President. Good morning. Um, I believe the homeowner 
yes, is here. Um, we spoke out in the hallway, I believe Mr. Luter, this was a continuance from a prior uh, demolition hearing, I believe it was before the board on uh, Halloween. Um, the homeowner, you can come up if you want, uh, was informed by Mr. Luter that the garage does in fact have to come down and I believe it might be a uh, financial situation where um, the homeowner uh, doesn't currently have the resources to just plop down that amount of money for the demo, right? But she understands that it does have to come down. So uh, I've spoken with Mr. Kearney, and I believe we'll just go through our regular bid process and uh, proceed. So, ma'am, so you know that the order was entered to demolish it by the board a couple months ago, but you wanted some time to see if you, if you could fix it up or you couldn't. As you know now, it's going to get knocked down. The city will bid out that work. And we're not, and then it'll, um, the amount of that work, you won't have to pay anything for it. It'll just be a lien on your property. So if you ever sell your house, it'll pay it back. That way it'll come down and you don't have to pay for it because we do need it down. Do you understand all that? Okay, good. Well, that's good. Then it'll be someone else's problem when you just, when someone else sells your house down the road. I got the electrical unhooked. You do? So I was talking to Mr. Okay. Luter about that. And I called out the electrician and got that unhooked from the garage, so it'll go. Oh, great. Okay, so we should probably note that, Kelly, that, we, that the electric's already off. Okay. And then, um, the and there's no gas there, right? No, no. Okay, great. And I just want to keep the slab. Yes, they won't, we'll, we'll make sure they don't take the slab out. All right. So, Kevin, before yes. us, I have a rehab agreement only. Yes. And then it is, what Of course, we only have the rehab agreement? agreements generally if the order's been entered. If it hasn't, So we don't guess, need to sign this. We're gonna no, we're, we're not going to do a process. rehab agreement. Can... What is the owner's name? Ma'am? Teresa Hawkins Wilson. This is Pete Kocheropoulos. Hmm. So that doesn't seem like Must have been a typo. Okay. Did somebody buy your house? Buy your house? Yeah, this is for a different location. Okay, so. there we oh, go. Okay. So we don't need to sign anything. Demo order you has the been she bought the judge from She bought the house from Judge Harkin. So there you have oh, it. Okay. Um, so we would just, I guess this is more of a status. Okay. We just want to inform the board that we will be going to bid on this property. And we have a demo order entered. That was an order that was entered by the board on October 31st. However, if you'd like to affirm that again today, that wouldn't hurt just so we have it of record. Kevin, uh, what's, what's the address that you guys are referring to? You got so on my agenda, I have... 2647, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, but this agreement is for 2647, 162nd place. 104 May Street. Oh, sorry. 104 May. Oh, I got my addresses mixed up. I apologize. Okay. So, so we are, okay. let's go forward let's, if we could in the agenda to 1004 May Street, which is double G. I'm, I apologize to the board. Okay. That helps. 1004 May Street. There's okay. The, you've just heard the status yes. of 1004 May. <laughs> okay. Do I have a motion to you affirm you. the demolition order? Garage uh, only at 1004 right, okay. May Street. So moved. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. When will they be doing this? Uh, probably within the next two to three months. Okay. Okay. Any questions, ma'am? Okay. Thank you. Have a seat. I need to ask you a question in a second. Okay, let's yes, go back, back to, to the, uh, I apologize about it's that. Okay, item E, which is the rehab agreement at 2647 162nd place. Uh, Mr. Luter has done an inspection. Uh, Mr. Prieto is in favor, uh, and the inspections department is in favor of entering this agreement. We would ask that it be uh, entered as um, presented. Okay. A motion to approve the rehab agreement. And I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item F, amusement device listing for the week of January 13th, 2020. Oh, doesn't appear to be uh, very her soup. You know I, mean? I don't know exactly what you mean. Good? Yeah. Right, motion, motion to approve the amusement devices. I second. List. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item F, correspondence received from Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish requesting permission to hold a living Stations of the Cross procession from St. Catherine Siena Church and ending in Our Lady of Perpetual Help on Good Friday, April 10th, 2020, from 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Is this a regular one? Um, it is. Is it? Is okay. it normal? The route would be to start on the corner of 165th Street and Kennedy Avenue, proceed west to Arizona Avenue, and 
Arizona Avenue turned south down to Our Lady Perpetual Help. Okay. Is there any new guys today? Yeah, we'll forward it to okay. them. Okay. Uh, I'll motion to approve the uh, correspondence from OLPH. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item six, matters from board members. Oh, good Lord. I have a stack. <clears throat> All right, let's see. First one, contract for demolition services um, goes to uh, JM Industrial Services. Many, do I need to, you want me to list all the properties verbally? You want to do that? Okay. Uh, but the, the amount um, for the contract, let's see, where is it at here? $164,850, signed by uh, Mr. Kearney, Chief of Inspections, and Jeff McKernan, President of uh, JM Industrial Services. I would, you're, you're good? Yes. Okay. Yep, these are just for demolitions. Right. Uh, we were having a little bit of an issue with NIPSCO, uh, making sure that NIPSCO had terminated. It was just a paperwork issue, so that's why these are probably back in June. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll motion to approve the contract for the demolition services. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, comprehensive care um, correspondence uh, contract. Let's see. Civil suit. Uh, oh. is. is that acknowledgement? Is this acknowledgement? Uh, this is a um, upon discussion with the um, controller's office and mayor's office. Um, the controller is aware of this. That uh, the, uh, it's a termination of a. It's actually formal termination of a contract that expired a long time ago regarding EAP services. Okay. Where'd it go? Where you? Yep. I motion, motion to approve the... Uh... Notification. Oh, all right, so for acknowledgement. Okay, acknowledgement purposes only. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Bridge lighting, Erie Lackawanna Trail. Um, Mr. Button? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, these uh, next two items, it looks like, are contracts with Orbital Engineering to do bridge lighting design on uh, both the Erie Lackawanna and the Monon Trail. They are somewhat hand in hand in the fact that um, they, they, the second price is cheaper uh, because of the work they're doing in the first project. So one is 38000 and one is 26000 to do the design on the bridge lighting project. Um, so there's an economy if you do both projects. If you only do one, then that's a problem. So the money that Just was under item A, that item A that you had uh, referred to this morning, set aside money from each of the council districts that adjoin these bridges and the mayor uh, to fund the design, construction, and um, engineering for this project. And so um, that's uh, the design portion of that work. I believe Kevin's reviewed this contract. I have. I actually went down to the mayor's office to check on the green sheet. I've got the green sheet for it. It was item A, Kevin. Yeah, so, we that. yes, we approved that this morning that was signed by the three council districts and the mayor um, right. regarding funding allocations. Yeah, it, and I guess my question to Mr. Button would just be, does, does this item, is this item included within correct. that amount? Then we're good. Yeah. For both, correct? For both. Okay. Okay, I'm going to motion to approve uh, the bridge lighting going on trail um, contract as well as the uh, Erie Lackawanna Trail contract. They've both been vetted by Mr. Button as well as the city attorney. No second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's it for me. That's it. I have one matter. Um, and it is a disciplinary matter from the fire department. I will recommend that we approve this uh, this matter from the fire chief. And I concur. Okay. Any other matters from other board members? Matters from other department heads or their representatives. Anyone have anything today? 
Any new business? Old business, item AA, change order number one received from Nice Engineering Inc. for the 167th Street Sidewalk Addition Program. Excuse me, project. All right. This has a note on it that there was a green sheet approved on December 19th. Um, is, or Jonathan, is this a district project or is this a combined district project? It's, um, it's a district project that um, the change order and the green sheet weren't lining up at the same time and we kept deferring. Okay. And this is just finally cleaning up that change order. Who is this? What district? That, that would have been third district. Third district. Uh, former Councilman Higgs was still responsible at the time. Okay, so the new councilman is aware of? Yeah, this is still 19. It, it's not affecting anything from this year. All right. I have a motion to approve the change order. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item BB, business license revocation coaches corner. Uh, good morning. Um, good morning. So I received a phone call from uh, John Reed, uh, Attorney John Reed, the other day, who's going to be representing Mr. Gilla on the business license portion only, not on the liquor license. Okay. Um, I explained to him that given the denial of the liquor license before the county uh, liquor board, uh, that the city was not in a position to move forward on the business license until the state liquor commission uh, makes its determination about the license. Um, in the meantime, I know that Mr. Gella has been attempting to uh, satisfy all matters required, like the inspections, inspections have happened and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's moving forward. However, um, as you can imagine, he's applying for a license to be a bar, and you can't be a bar without a liquor license. Um, so until the commission makes their determination on whether they're going to affirm the local board's decision or reverse the local board's decision, I don't think my recommendation to this board would be to grant or deny the business license. We just need to wait. Um, so uh, by agreement with Mr. Reed, uh, we've agreed to set this over for status for January 30th. Okay. And that would be my request to the board. Can I ask, um, I know that there was an issue of uh, pizza. Yes, yeah, so uh, Windy, there Windy City Pizza. Is, that, is it operating currently? Is the establishment closed due to the, you know, no, I mean, they, so licensing. no, so when a when a local liquor board um, <clears throat> denies a renewal of your license, you get to you get to continue to operate while it appeals to the commission. So, um, Windy City Pizza, we believe, may still be operating. I would s absolutely suggest that we do something to haul them in here because they they're operating without a license at all it, you know mr gellas we understand what his situation is right. it was incorrect but he he at least had an application and you know he just did it incorrectly and we're trying to get to the bottom of that and why he did that incorrectly but as for windy city pizza we don't have anything on file i'm sorry what was the date of status you were requesting uh just january 30th okay. so i guess by way of me saying this, I would also request the inspections department to take a look at Windy City Pizza and if they're operating to, uh, to cite them accordingly. We have done an inspection, they are still operating. Okay, without a license, correct. Okay. Yeah, um, so hopefully they'll be in here. No. Was, was, I know this, the departments went there this week, right? <laughs> was, was, was that brought up at all? Complicated situation with the, with the license for Windy City because they are serving food for the bar itself also. But they also deliver, and we're looking into um, if they have their own tax number, tax ID. Um, we're not sure how it operates inside the bar. Are they, out, um, and, and for an example, a bar across the street down a little bit um, has a carryout place. You can go in that carryout place, order your food, and never enter the bar. So if you're 18, you can go in that shrimp house, order your food, and leave. Windy City is not that. In that situation, you have to be 21 in that establishment. Are they operating as part of the Coach's Corner? They're if, they're, and they're, if they're a separate entity, then they will have to have a business license. We plan on informing them of that. Okay. Do I have a motion to set the business license revocation hearing for Coach's Corner over to January 30th, 2020, and um, request status from the inspections department as to the uh, state of Windy City Pizza? Motion, motion, uh, so moved. So moved. All those in favor? 
Aye. Item CC, status hearing, 227 <laughs> Chicago Street. Last, I checked with the property, it's basically been abandoned, uh, left open. There are freight containers uh, that are unsecure. There's still some uh, material reflective of the previous business that occupied it. As far as I was aware, the owner was uh, supposed to be attempting uh, to work with Nick D on figuring out the cleanup um, and the contamination, uh, but I have not had any contact with the owner or his legal representation since. Mm -hmm. Going on a while. Is this the one that Attorney Molina was a rep represented against? Um, I know, I believe it was Scott Yaney. Yanni. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this was uh, this is the property off of yeah, the corner of Chicago right corner, and right? Sheffield, yeah, which is in the proposed uh, pathway of the South Shore uh, extension. Um, all of the business operations have ceased. Uh, there are there's no more um, nobody there currently working or anything like that. But the property has been vacated and left in a pretty uh, rough condition. Is this the where Mr. Novak was trying to get him to remediate the soil underneath where they drained all the oil off these vehicles on these racks? Yeah, that the process had started. Had right. Done, um, kind of came to a standstill. I think part of the situation is Mr. Ayala, the owner, um, is having some health issues. Um, I think also that he would probably concede to the um, Nikki as far as coming in and taking the property and remediating it when the train comes through or whenever, whatever part of that project that is. But I think we're at a standstill. That's probably where we're going to be until uh, it's sold and taken over by the OK. Mm -hmm. So do we need anything? I mean, do we need status? Is this something you're just keeping an eye on at this point? If there's any movement there, we will know about it. We will okay. see it. It's on, I think, everyone's path throughout the day and week. Mm -hmm. um, so at this point, it's just at a standstill. It doesn't sound like it. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you don't want a status date? You'll just keep an eye? Put it out 90 days. Let's get into spring okay. and we'll see what happens at that point. Um, maybe, maybe we'll know something. <coughs> When's Easter? Well, April 16th. All right, I motion mm -hmm. to set this over for status April 16th, 2020. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item DD, status hearing, 6145 Ray Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, this is another property that uh, is currently at a standstill. Uh, the last uh, permits that we had, uh, the most recent was uh, rough plumbing that passed uh, in October uh, of 2019. Uh, we have not had any contact with the owner since. Uh, we've tried calling, uh, no reply. Uh, the house still remains vacant. Uh, it still needs quite a bit of work. Um, you wreck one? 60 days. Mm -hmm. Pull it out another 60 days, um, see if we can make any more contact. I, I believe this house is still uh, on the demo list, if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. It is? Is it with the the group that would have been bid out today? No. Okay. Okay, I'll motion to set this over for status to March 19th, 2020. And I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item EE, -E, status hearing, 242 Doty Street. Same, uh, same as before. Uh, we have not had any contact with Attorney Molina. Uh, he was the last one that we've been uh, talking to regarding uh, this home, uh, they needed a, an engineer, uh, an engineer's report uh, to be brought into our building commissioner, building inspector. Uh, we still have not uh, got that yet. Um, in uh, October of 2019, we did issue a stop work order. They were working on the roof. Uh, we stopped them from working on the roof, um, and we have not heard anything um, from the owner or attorney Molina. Uh, so I, I guess we'll. We'll set this out another 60 days. Uh, this house is still on the demo list. Uh, so uh, we'll continue from there. Have we made contact uh, with Attorney Molina? Or we have we're not just waiting to hear from him? Yeah, we're, we're waiting to hear from him. They, it was The ball was in their court as far as them bringing in the engineering report. Okay. Yeah. So it's still on the demo list, and we're going to move forward if we don't hear anything? Correct. 
Correct. Okay. And if I may suggest um, report <coughs> 60, 90 days on some of these properties, uh, how about if we just put it on to the next demo hearing? Okay. And um, then we can wrap it up with all the other demo hearings uh, that we're going to be having um, as far as status. I'm not sure when that date is. We, we don't have that uh, date available just today. Line them up to put them on at that point. Um, that way we can just handle it all at one time. I think some of these will be able to be closed. Some of them will have to reaffirm. Some of them may be demolished at that point. Okay. Do we want to just make a motion to do one of them? Do we know when the next demo hearing is? We could establish that and, and then to make contact. Um, I'll have to speak with Kevin as far as when that, that's set. It would be in a couple months, which would be in that 60, 90 days. Anyway. Set up your status for 60 days if we change it. Well, we would have to do a new motion to change it. Right. So we can either set up that date or you can say that one of the demo hearings are scheduled. Right. Yeah. Let's just set this one up for the 19th, just like we did the last one. Let's so just go from there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to motion to set this one over for March 19th, 2020. Okay. Um, and in the interim, we'll uh, we'll figure out a demo date, and maybe we can utilize your idea going forward. Understood. Set these up when we have known demo dates. That's fine. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item FF status hearing on 7736 at Belmont Avenue. It is my understanding this property is um, just waiting uh, the final inspections on, on everything that needed to be done. I think is being has been done. Um, we just need the final inspection to go through and then we'll be able to remove it from the list. Um, let's set it with that 60 days and um, hopefully we'll have that hearing and um, be able to remove this from the list. Okay. All right, I'll motion to set this over for status to March 19th, 2020. And I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item GG we uh, handled already. That was the status on May Street. Item GG. Item 10, meeting open to the public. Anyone wishing to speak? Mr. Perez, anything you'd like to say today? <laughs> <laughs> We'll welcome uh, Mr. Perez on the board at next week's meeting. Um, motion to adjourn? I'll motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.